Seek ye first the kingdom. Everything else is automatically going to come. The Bible said it will be added. There's only one thing we've been called to seek. That's the kingdom. But we're finding ourselves seeking other things. And it's throwing our value system off. So even a good intention to live righteously, righteously before the Lord can't be sustained. Bible says if you search for me you're going to find me but listen that's if you search with all your heart see some of us are searching but he hasn't reached the value yet in our lives where we can give God all of our heart so the exhaustion that comes from searching is because we're in battle within ourselves with areas of our heart and our lives we're not ready to surrender to God. Then the discouragement comes in. Then the comparisons come in. Then the condemnation starts to seep in. It don't take rocket scientists to tell you that if you can focus on one thing, you're going to do a whole lot better than focusing on a lot of things at one time. Am I right about it? Let's take some kids playing in a room and have the responsibility to keep eye on four kids. The focus is all over the place. But put one child and say, this is your only assignment. Just keep an eye on that child things become peaceful even though the child is busy because your focus is sure. When God said seek first the kingdom he was trying to simplify our lives and enhance them at the same time. Divided loyalties A multiplicity of priorities ultimately causing God to become displaced. So even though we say, Lord, my heart is yours, it all belongs to you. We're all singing and expressing it from a different place, depending on where we've placed God in our lives. My challenge is not to judge where you are. My challenge as spiritual leadership is to guide you where God has called for us to be. So this isn't condemnation or judgment. It becomes an amazing opportunity. How many people will receive that opportunity today? What if God says all that pain it goes away when you make me your only focus. What if God say, put this away right here and all of that grief you've been carrying and all that anxiety you've been holding, if you can just seek me, I promise you I'll strip it away from your life. Everything that's been in your life that's not for your life. He said, what if I would take it away if you would just in the divided loyalties and set me in the only place that I'll ever uh, uh, agree for you for myself to be in your life God will never take second place to anything he created not even you the, re the creation is always assigned to worship the creator and it doesn't matter if in this age of the antichrist everybody's trying to use science and all types of psychology and knowledge to try to validate us doing what satan tried to do to take the place that only rightfully belongs to god we can choose 